My name is Altasia Sellers and I am part of the Exceptional Learning Program at Tennessee Tech and it's, my concentration is Health Behavior and Wellness. My interest um, in this field is mental health, um, athletics, childhood adversity, um, and just overall wellness. Um, I think what really drew me here was the idea of that I was an athlete, my background and my experiences as a child, um, and how I experienced those things. I am most proud of um, my, getting through my first year in, in the PhD program. Um, I've kind of heard that's where you sink or swim, and so even though I had a rocky ship for sure, I feel like um, that was I swam, and so that's like what I'm really most proud of. Um, I'm also proud of um, some of the ministries and things that I am ha having to help um, organize and orchestrate on campus, which are um, Kainos College Women's Bible Study. Uh, we also have a group called the United Voices of Praise on campus that I participate in, and we also have Impact Cookville, and I'm also a part of the, WN the NAACP, which all things I'm proud of. I am the first of my family to go past undergrad. My dad has his bachelor's, but I am the first person in my entire family to pursue past a bachelor's and actually obtain it and get a master's and PhD. So this is what I've learned. <laughs> I don't think it's hard. It's um, mind opening. I feel that in undergrad and even in the master's program, you kind of follow a structure of what the standards are, what the teachers want for you, what the government wants for you, what the policy makers want for you, whatever that looks like. But once you cross that threshold into a PhD program, you start to be able to read for yourself, learn these things for yourself. And what makes it hard is because you have to question your own identities. You have to question your own belief systems and theories about what reality is, what life is. and um, that's the hard part because it does take the idea of reading, it does take the writing, it does take exploring, and it also, like I said, takes opening your mind up to not being set on one thing because you start to learn that we are in a system that has been set already, you know, and as a professional, you're, you're just in that system and you got to figure out what your, what your role is. And I think that's what the PhD kind of does, it starts to develop your role, out. you're not in a career, me personally, I'm not in a career yet, but I feel like I've learned so much just from the knowledge that comes from the PhD program. So I think that's what kind of makes it challenging, is that it's not given to you. You have to go explore this stuff and decide for yourself what's right, what's wrong, and what you want to continue to spread. It is a lot of pressure because, um, at least, self-pressure because um, you feel like you know you can't fail anymore like you didn't make it this far you can't go back and so um, you have a lot of pressure to kind of just keep moving forward and again coming from a small town you become a standard for people and so being a standard in itself is just a lot um, sometimes it can feel like I don't belong in the program just because it is different for especially being African American and a woman. First of all, women have a hard time getting specific roles and jobs, and then let alone African American that adds to that pressure. Um, so I do have imposter syndrome sometimes, but I can say that through my support systems, it, it does help, it does help. And then, like I said, the community has been nothing but great, so that has been rewarding as well. But Dr. Robert Owens, he is a, Funny guy, um, he's very laid back. He, even though he holds a lot of roles, him as a person, he, he really supports his people. He supports uh, his students. He wants us to succeed. And I feel like he's really genuine. It's the most genuine type of love I've ever felt um, in Cookville. And because of him, that is why I've kind of found my family. Um, because of his church, because of his, I work in his office as well now. And he, he does his best to make sure, ensure that everybody has their, their, their best foot put forth. Um, and that's something that I do value in him because it's not, it's not a job, it's like his life, it's his, it's his calling to make sure that he is, he was planted here, he was planted here for a reason and I believe that he believes that and that's what he's doing. He's making a path for the, his people, not only his people but students all together. 
to be able to see better or even believe that they can be better and not just a number, not just African American, not just black, but also, and not just a student, but you are whatever your content is. I would say if you really, if you want to do something that you can do it and don't let where you come from um, dictate that, do not let who you are dictate that or who your family is dictate and you can be more than just one thing. You don't have, you can be African American and you can be a professor. You can be from Mississippi and Tennessee. You can be, um, have a mother that was a teacher and you can be an astronaut, you know, you can do all the things that you want to do no matter where you come from and no matter who you are. If you want to do something, don't, don't ever get to the point where you feel that who you are is a reason why you shouldn't be something great.